Well, hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mansa Queen. If this is your first time here, you are holla welcome. Today's video is another hack. Guys, we are making another box cake mix hack and this time it's my beautiful lemon cake. Yes, guys, not a pound cake, but it's just a light, airy, moist cake with a homemade drizzle. Guys, as you can see, this is so amazing so delicious lemony and sweet at the same time with the pop of a homemade frosting on it so if you would like to see how i put this together you would definitely want to keep on watching again my name is manser you're welcome to my kitchen <music> our ingredients so let's get started one box cake mix and i am using duncan hines and this is the perfectly moist lemon supreme you would need one box and these are the instructions on the back it asks for one cup of water and also you will need three eggs and it also states one third of a cup of vegetable oil but you already know we're not doing that okay so for my hack as usual, I would like to add one small pack of lemon pudding, and this is what I'm using today. This is a small pack. Yes, guys, you would need just one pack of that. It adds to that texture and flavor of this cake. So you would definitely need one small pack of lemon jello. You would also need four eggs instead of three eggs as the box requires that extra egg will boost up the richness of this cake and i always do that with all of my box cake mix hacks so yes that additional egg is really necessary it's a lemon cake so we're definitely going to bump up that lemon flavor because they tend to use a lot of artificial flavors so we're going to boost it up by using some natural lemon flavors and i have two lemons over here we're also going to be using the zest today and here i have two thirds of a cup of butter the recipe asks for one third of vegetable oil don't go for that and i also doubled the quantity so instead of one third i'm using two thirds cup of butter now to make it even more rich i'm using some half and half today to replace that with water great tip never use water you can use anything but water you can use whole milk you can even use two percent just don't use water and since i'm not going for like a pound cake i'm not using buttermilk today so half and half works now for our frosting i'm going to be using some powdered sugar yes this is my powdered sugar and i'm going to need that for my homemade frosting that i'm going to make for flavors i'm also going to be adding some pure vanilla and also some pure lemon extracts like i said a lot of the box cake mixes use a lot of artificial um flavoring so i like to bump up all those flavors with these ingredients now to get started i'm going to be using a bun pan today so i'm going to go ahead and butter it up really nice because even though it's a non-stick pan i don't take my chances i don't want my cake to be destroyed so i'm going to go ahead and butter it up and I will also go off camera to lightly coat it with flour. You can also use a nonstick spray. Now, before we start, I'm going to go ahead and zest my lemon. You would need anywhere from, let's say, about one teaspoon of lemon zest. That works for me, so I'm already only using one teaspoon. Make sure not to go too far because the white part is bitter. Now, in a mixing bowl, I'm going to pour out um the pack of box cake mix and as you can see it's really not lumpy to that i'm adding one pack of the lemon pudding mix as well then i'm just taking my spatula and just give it a good stir get it all incorporated the dry ingredients I already have a made from scratch lemon vanilla pound cake and I would um, link it in the cards and also in the description box. Now to the dry ingredients I'm going to add my half and half. There it goes. One cup of that. And in comes the eggs. I just put everything at the same time just like the box instructions um, state. And I'm also adding my two thirds of butter. Then in comes in my one teaspoon of a vanilla extract and one teaspoon of lemon extract. 
here comes in my lemon zest that we did earlier it's going to boost up that lemon flavor and i'm going in with my hand mixer and beating it on low speed for about 30 seconds just as the box instructions say so low speed for 30 seconds guys it is very important that you do not overbeat your cake and as you can see i am just scraping the sides with my spatula at the same time just to scrape down um, any of the dry ingredients and after 30 seconds you want to increase your speed and bid it on medium high speed for two minutes and after two minutes this is what it looks like you can see that it has thickened up quite a bit yes it's because of all the pudding and the extra ingredients that we added that's why we're getting the batter consistency looking this way instead of what it would have looked like if you followed the box instructions these hacks are lifesavers like i always say in my hack videos they are tried and trusted they have been tried by different bakeries and they do work trust me try it and let me know now in my lightly floured pan i'm going to add in that batter you can see it is nice and thick again we're not going for a pound cake consistency even though it looks really thick like a pound cake batter but it's not it's going to be really airy and light and really really delicious i can smell all the lemony um flavors everything just looking good so now you want to you would have preheated your oven to 350 degrees now it is already nice and heated i want to pop it drop it shake it release all those extra air bubbles in your cake and it is ready to go into the oven usually i bake it longer than the box instructions because of the extra um ingredients now while our cake is baking i'm going to go ahead and make um, our drizzle which is just a light frosting and it's really easy you don't even need a mixer all you need is a whisk and one cup of powdered sugar you can cut down on the sugar if you want and to that this is my freshly squeezed lemon juice so the lemons that I zested earlier I'm just gonna I squeeze them out and I'm adding two to three tablespoons i added three because i wanted more of like a glaze just something really light but if you want more of a thicker consistency that would actually sit on the cake and be more like a frosting you could stop at two i went for three and i'm also going to add in half a teaspoon of a vanilla extract vanilla helps to kind of cut down that um really strong lemony flavors and just boost up the flavors makes it really really delicious i always have to have vanilla whenever i'm you working with lemons so just take your whisk and whisk it out then that's it it is so super easy and guys this will take your box cake to a whole nother level making your frosting is highly recommended because even you're saving time by using a box cake mix so why not just go ahead and spend a little extra two or three minutes to make your frosting now while cake is out of the oven it has been baking for about 40 to 45 minutes at 350 degrees i inserted a toothpick or a skewer in the middle of the cake and it comes out clean and dry an indication that our cake is done look how beautiful and golden brown that crust is it is everything that i want and more by this time the babies were out like mommy what are you baking it smells so good trust me even if you're not a fan of lemon cake try this hack right here it is not overpowering but it's so delicious now my frosting has been sitting in the fridge that's why it looks a little bit more um thicker so i'm just going to give it a quick stir and we will be ready to drizzle a cake by it um by the way a cake has cooled down i did not live and let it cool down completely but it's cool to the touch you can let your cake cool completely i would recommend letting it cool completely before drizzling in your lemon glaze guys just look at that it is so satisfying it is thick enough to form a very thin layer on the cake but it's also light enough to go through the cake and not just overpower it delicious we enjoyed this piece of cake it was really nice the texture the taste the baking time the extra ingredients on point try this cake and you would not regret it also if you get to try any of my recipes and you want to show me a picture or a tag me you can just follow me on instagram or facebook i will put the name on the screen my handle is at the mansa queen and you can tag me and i will see everything now here is the piece let me cut it out so you guys can see what it looks like 
you can see that really yellow nice and beautiful very very light glaze on the cake it is so moist and fluffy that it can bounce right back to the touch can your cake ever do that <laughs> And guys this is what we're working with this is the final product i hope you get to try it again you can feel free to um, tag me on social media i'm on facebook and instagram as the mansa queen and this was my taste test it was everything that i wanted and more thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate you hit on that notification bell if this is your first time here once you subscribe that is the only way you would be um notified whenever i have a new video and until i catch you in my next one y'all stay safe and i love you all feel free to share with your friends and family and hold them to them as well bye y'all